Hey, shut up. You're ruining videos, you gapper. Hey, hey. I swear to God, I'll, I'll eat you. Cut you. <clears throat> My apologies. Got a little distracted there. What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod for under $3,500. We're going to be chopping it. We're going to be airbagging it. We're going to lay it on the ground. We're also doing a complete chassis swap over to a modern drivetrain. In this video, I get the back half of the chassis stripped to get it ready for all the fabrication we're going to have to do for the airbags. Let's get going. So, our wheelbases don't match. I knew that going in. I took some measurements of the rear wheel to the dash and it looked like it matched up pretty good. But now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't match as much as I want. Uh, that's way too forward. You know, I'd, I'd much rather have the, the cowl up here somewhere. So basically what I'm saying is we got room to stretch this ass in. It needs to go back about six inches, I think, to match the uh, wheel bases. Go ahead, it's a million degrees right now but I'm gonna go ahead and get the body off now so that I can pull the blazer in and then I can work on it at night when it's a lot cooler. I don't usually work on my own stuff during the day. I usually work on it at night, but I don't wanna try and lift up this body in the middle of the night with this crane. So let's go ahead and lift this body up, get the blazer in, and then we can start doing all the work we need to do to the blazer. I do need to cut some more out of this. So this will slide down a little bit more, but I can do that whenever the body's in the air after I've done all the frame modifications in the blazer. So basically I said all that just cause I'm stalling cause it's so hot. I don't want to do any of this, but we gotta get to work. So let's go. This is kind of shady, but it's, it's up everywhere. But in the back, I'm gonna try and drive it away real slowly. And I figured if I hurt myself, at least I'll have it on camera. I was real worried the uh, back was gonna catch, <laughs> but we're good. Okay, cool. Now, when it gets a little colder tonight, we can do some work on this frame. I also got my airbag kit coming. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be here this week or not, but I'm looking at whether or not I might notch the rear end. So I'm thinking while I have it in here, I might go ahead and cut this floor back here and also get the, get the gas tank out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all that yet, but I know I'm gonna have to do it when the airbag stuff comes anyway, so I might just do it while it's in here. Just knock it all out at once. So I probably will. It's going to suck because there's a body mount in here somewhere. I need to get out. I need to get the gas tank out. But it'd be real nice when I'm doing any of this because all this will just be wide open now, which I, I like a lot. Okay, so there is a body mount right here. I had to get up under there and undo that. And now there's another body mount right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my floor all the way across about right there. I might even go back here. I'm not sure I need to look, but that's going to make it really easy for me to take the gas tank out. I'm going to have to remake all this anyway when it's in the car. That's going to make it real easy to get that gas tank out. It's not hard to drop it down, but everything on the top is kind of a bitch to disconnect. So if I get this out of the way, it's going to give me plenty of room for not only that, but also the rear end whenever I get to, we're going to take the rear end out. I got to take these shackles off basically i'm gonna get all of this ready for the uh four link that's gonna be here next week so for this episode i'm just gonna try and focus on getting everything cut out and everything removed and then we'll get this you know this frame kind of cleaned up and stuff because we got to do a bunch of welding on it but first thing we need to do is cut this bitch talking we can undo that real easily yeah i was worried you know taking all this stuff off and then dropping it i was worried i might break something so this makes life real easy let's do that so i got everything undone 
the gas tank should drop now now when you do this you want to make sure you got way too much gas in there so it's super heavy i think this is half full which is probably oh 100 pounds or so which is just great so let's see how this goes There's so much gas in that fucking thing. Holy shit. Okay, gas tank's out. I'm gonna get the drive shaft out now and then start working on the rear end. Just get it all the way out of here. The dust is just disgusting. I mean, I've swept this out like three times, but they're always like this, so it's just part of the fun. Drive shaft is out. Now it's time to get the rear end out. I'm gonna do the leaf springs first, hopefully slide it all out. I'll have to do the shocks and bullshit with it, but hopefully we can just roll this whole thing out. But we will see. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a little trick on moving your wheelbase back on these S10 Blazers, S10 trucks. They're normally, I think, 110 wheelbase. A lot of your 50s cars, 52 Pontiac, 50 Chevy, they're all 115. So we need to go five inches. Actually, I take that back. I think the Blazer's 109, so we need to go six. A way you can do it, now we're gonna be airbagging it, so I'm not gonna be using the leaf springs anyway, but let me show you how we do it. The reason I'm gonna go ahead and cut these, not only to show you how you would go about doing this, but also because these are frozen solid. I cannot get them off. So what you can do, you can come in here and cut this perch off. And if you cut it close enough to the ball, you actually won't hit the frame. You will just hit the perch. The perch goes on separate. You cut right along in here. You can technically, if you needed to, you could cut the whole thing out, but you usually, when you do that, you'll end up cutting the frame. So I just like to cut right around in here. And then whenever that's cut, slide it back six inches to here. And then you can weld this. You'll, you'll end up having to add some more metal, obviously, but you'll end up welding this here. And not only does that slide it back, it also slides it up because of the way the frame is. And since it kicks, the kick stays all the way back. You're not gonna crown Vic, it just, it kicks just over the rear end. You can't do that on one of these. But here, slide it back to there, and then your axle will be back here. That doesn't hurt anything. You'll have to move your shock mounts and stuff like that. But since the frame stays kicked up, it does nothing. This is exactly how I did my 55 Chevy, and I've probably done it 10 other times. But in a truck, the only bad thing when you do it with a truck, with, with any S10, is you lose a lot of bed space because that kick up stays back here. But let me see if I can show you. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's slid back, just like I said. And now you can see my perch is up higher and that helps with that helps with dropping the body down a bunch too. That's how my truck is so low. That's how my truck is so low on stock suspension. Nothing's crazy. Oh my god, you hear this dog over there? Let's go kick him real quick. This is my sister-in-law's dog. Where where's he at? Hey, shut up, stupid. Hey, shut up. Quit whining, you baby. Quit whining, you stupid baby. Kick that son of a bitch. Kick him. Kick him. Come here. Come here. Harley. Bite him. That's my dog. Harley, bite that son of a bitch. Lily, you're you're worthless. Hey, hey, shut up. You're ruining videos, you fucking yapper. Hey, hey, I swear to God, I'll, I'll eat you. I'm a vegetarian, but I'll put you in a goddamn pan. Cut you. <clears throat> My apologies, got a little distracted there. So anyways, I'm gonna take the plasma cutter and uh, whittle away on this. And hopefully we're good. Hopefully that takes care of it because I have been beating on that bolt for at least an hour and it will not come out. So we're gonna go ahead and slide the old hinges. saw me and she said are you filming today i said yes she said don't get in front of the camera i said why she said it looks like you have lipstick on you must have mixed your drink wrong you idiot so fun fact of the day your gatorade you know fruit punch whatever you're going to call it if you put too much of the mix in there it looks like you have lipstick on but i told her 2021 i'll wear lipstick if i want to i mean i can do whatever i want so anyways it's not lipstick i swear to god Let's get this rear end out. Well, 
just to show you that's what i was talking about you wanted to you know get that a lot closer but the shape actually isn't bad and it would just weld right there but i'm not doing that we're gonna airbag it so i'm gonna keep stripping all this shit. hopefully i think i think it said my bags and brackets are supposed to be here like tuesday of next week so i should just be able to get this all stripped and then get that stuff but let's get the leaf springs and stuff off these u-bolts on this rear end will not move i mean even with a breaker bar like just crazy I, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but like this has been 10 hours just to get here because so much shit has needed cut off. It's been a pain in the ass. So we're going to cut these now and hopefully that'll be done, <laughs> but we'll see. Got the rear end stripped. I don't need these perches anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. I'm gonna leave that side in case I need something, maybe a shock mount or something I can weld off the back of it, but I certainly don't need this. This is gonna be getting in the way of my four link. So I'm gonna hit these with the plasma real quick and probably call this an episode. When I first came over here, I figured I was gonna spend two or three hours today. I'm coming up on 10 hours. This has been a train wreck <laughs> just because everything, everything's had to been cut off. Like even my sway bar links are just little bitty, you know, like, whatever 14 millimeter bolts even those are rusted solid had to cut all those out so good news is we're completely stripped other than this and i think my plasma should be able to do that it's a big chunk but this plasma is pretty badass so let's see what happens cut them right off no big deal I swear to God, I love that little thing. Yes, welder plasma cutter. It's like 10 pounds. I mean, it's, it weighs nothing and it'll cut through 5 8 plate like butter. Love it. Woo! She is completely stripped. I am absolutely disgusting. This was a very, very long day, much longer than it needed to be. And I still need to clean all this shit up. So we're gonna probably call it here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Pick up next week, whenever my airbag stuff comes in, what I need to do is I'll grind down, get get this all bare metal, and then we'll start figuring out our cross member and stuff. Probably end up having a cross member right across there. And then that's where our four link will tie in. I want to try and run the stock tank in the stock location. So that's going to kind of be fun with, you know, figuring stuff out. But we'll do all that next week. We're calling her done. I am just soaking wet with sweat and dirt. And I'm done playing. Uh, this wasn't fun. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I've, I've, I've pressed record about five times and I can't stop looking at the red lipstick comment that my wife made because it does look like I have lipstick on so it's just Kool-Aid I swear to God <laughs> or not Kool-Aid it's Gatorade but yeah um I was gonna say <laughs> it's so distracting I was gonna say today was the first day that I posted it's Friday I posted the 52 Pontiac raffle. I didn't post the website until the video was posted today and I'm already three quarters of the way sold. So I wanna say thank you to everybody. I'm sure by the time this comes out next Tuesday, they'll, they'll be all sold out, but I wanna say thank you very much. In like six hours, the fact that, the fact that three quarters of them were gone in six hours is awesome. Like I, I love these giveaways, they're really a lot of fun. It's cool to see support. Also, it's just cool that somebody's gonna get a badass car for like maybe 500 or maybe 50 bucks you know 50 bucks a spot now a lot of people are buying more than one spot but still i mean how cool is that so i just want to say thanks thank you very much for the support um i said in the last giveaway that money doesn't go to like my boathouse or like you know my third maserati like i'm a real guy this is this goes to rent and like you know better equipment for the next build like i just bought a new camera and stuff that's from the last raffle like all that stuff is helping the channel grow so Thank you very much. I'm going to take a shower. I still feel disgusting and I have to wash my lips. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. This was a huge pain in the ass. Uh, it took a lot longer than it should have, but anybody from the Rust Belt, anybody from the Midwest, they know how this goes. Even though the chassis is super solid and there's no rust on the chassis, every single bolt, every single mount is just rusted solid. So you have to end up cutting all that stuff off. So you have 10 hours dropping a rear end instead of two hours that it should take. But it is what it is. That's just kind of how what we have to deal with around here. The good news is I did get everything stripped. I got it all cleaned. I got it all washed. So 
Next week, what we can do is we can start grinding some of this down for bare metal. And then when our airbag parts come in, we'll have something clean to weld to. And hopefully the next episode, I can get the four link set up and maybe we can see the, uh, you know, the airbags go up and down a little bit. But we'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff they tell you through the end of videos. And check out some more of my other videos. Peace. I've been giving to you